So it's another J-Rock show here in the Philadelphia region, which means she has to be here. Hello, all. Exist race tonight. What are you looking forward to? Everything. Fair enough. <laughs> Doing at the Exist Trace show. Only me you tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Come here. All right. So what's your name, sir? Matt. And uh, you're here for Exist Trace, I assume. Well, obviously. Well, there are other bands playing tonight. I don't really care. Okay. Well, that explains it all. Where are you coming from? King of Prussia. So not too far. Okay. Okay. So what's your name? Sarah. And where are you coming from? Michigan. You came a long way for this. I actually spent 17 hours on a bus for this. Okay, uh, so why Philadelphia and why not Boston or New York? Um, I actually knew somebody here, and that's why. And like, I wouldn't have to pay for a hotel or any of that hassle. Uh, it, it, was it Matt? Uh, you just oh, you just met. Oh shoot. Like this now. So. Okay. So so next time you come to Philadelphia, you're gonna be staying with Matt. Exactly. Okay, cool. <laughs> so wait, who who's the person you're staying with now? Where is he? She's inside. That. All right. So what's your name? It's Ren. And Ren, where you uh, where you hail from? Connecticut. Conne Ooh, I'm wait a minute. Geographically, why didn't you go to New York? Because honestly, I just missed the boat on when the tour was. So did you just find out yesterday? I found it at one o'clock this morning. <laughs> so, okay, okay, okay. Um, you had to have canceled some plans. I'm hoping. I did. Yeah. Okay. What 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 did you have to sacrifice to get down? Um. Well, movie night with a friend I haven't seen in a while, and a haircut. What movie? We were probably gonna watch like Serenity or some Firefly episodes. Ooh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Love, I love me some Serenity. I love me Firefly, but maybe the better choice. Maybe the better choice. Yeah, definitely, definitely a better choice. Another familiar face here in the J Rock scene. What's your name? Lee Miller. Let me get my hair on my face. And what is your occupation? I'm a photojournalism student. What's some of the stuff that you've done? Uh, I've done X Japan, Kaya, Versailles, Blood. A whole bunch of people. You've done blood before. Yes, I I photographed these bands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's your name? Grace Valentine. And where are you from? North Carolina. Another long drive to be right here in Philly for Exist Trace. Okay, uh, why come why come all the way up here for this band? Well, I mean, I support the band. I was supposed to see him in Japan in January, so I figured this is a little bit closer. Wait, supposed to? Yeah, my mom had surgery, so I had to leave, and I couldn't I didn't make my flight. Is she okay? Yeah, she's doing all right now. All right, so what's your name? Naomi. Where are you? Naomi? I was making basic conversation with my friend Matt over there, and then I noticed this shirt. And I was like, I have to interview this girl. What's your name? Uh, Lee. And where are you from? I'm from Paoli. It's a town no one's heard of. What are you talking about? That's the, that's the town I was born in. Really? <laughs> my, my first general practitioner was over there at the hospital. Oh, I had no clue. Okay, so hey, some well, I moved out of there when I was three, though. So Naomi, uh, what brings you to Exist Trace tonight? Me and my boyfriend both listen to J Rock, so we try to come to as many events as we can to keep it in the area. Um, so I take it you're not too happy with this turnout, are you? Actually, I'm really sad because there should be more people here. It helps the scene when there's a lot more people, and it also helps make it more interesting. You think the Tuesday night kind of hurt it a little bit? I was originally told Saturday I bought my tickets and I found out Tuesday I have a job. So Seven Feet Delicious is back here too now. You gotta talk into the mic. Oh, now you tell me. Great, thanks a lot. Alright, so uh, once again. Once again, I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, did you just get dragged to this one or did you, uh, like last time, or are you actually here here? I'm actually here here for once, so. Oh, you, so you actually like this band? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so uh, what are you looking forward to tonight? Pretty much everything that they have to show tonight. It sounds familiar. I think I got that answer already. Give me a different answer. Seeing you. Hell yeah. So anyway, uh, let's bring your boyfriend up here. So no, you stay here too. You stay. Here. We're not kicking you aside. So um, you're the one that actually got her into uh, Exist Trace. How long have you been into Exist Trace? About a year. About a year. About the same time. What, what was? Uh, was there any specific song that you were like, these guys rock? Not really. Not really. It's hard. I like their old stuff. Okay. Uh, like the more gothy metal stuff. Um, is there, um, like, how did you find out about them? YouTube searches or just general investigation? YouTube. I'm, uh, Duran Gray to other bands. Okay. So, like, uh, the related links type stuff? Yeah. Okay. So, um, she had to go through some sacrifices to get here tonight. What about you? Nope. I paid. <laughs> you paid? I paid. 
cave. Um, are, 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 <laughs> see, oh, okay, I see, I see where this is going. Okay, don't worry, I was there myself for a little while. Did you have to make any sacrifices to get out of here? Because a lot of people were saying, oh, Tuesday night, I can't make it. So, uh, did, was this difficult for you, Tuesday? The only real thing I had to do was take off work. That wasn't too much. What's your job? Retail. Retail at? Spencer's. Spencer's? At, at the mall? Mm-hmm. That's Spencer's. Okay, so you're the one that actually refused the Exist Trace Flyers when I took them by. Uh, not really. I live just up the street, pretty much, so I walked over. You just walked over. Okay, uh, no, no day job to interfere with this or anything? I got laid off. Um, I didn't study for a test, but that's about it. So. Wait, which test? Um, chemistry. It's not bad. Chemistry. That's that's a big one, though. That's that's one of the big ones at uh, college level or high school level. Advanced high school. Okay, so AP. Okay, so don't you know that that's one of the most important classes? That's going to go be the one that gets you into Temple University. Uh, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> I need to go to Temple, so. Uh, what? You're not going to Temple? Um, yeah, no, I'm planning actually on applying to Temple, so. Son of a bitch! I'm psychic. <laughs> I just threw that out there. So, uh, any particular songs that you're going to be looking forward to tonight? I'm not real familiar with the band. I'm just here to support the scene. Oh, so um, this, uh, this, is this your first time finding out about them? You're just checking it out? Or, you know, um, do you have a little bit of background knowledge? I've seen a couple of their PVs over the year, but that's about it. Any specific songs you're looking forward to tonight? No, I just really want to hear them play. I'm always, whenever I go, it didn't matter when it was Season or Darren Gray, because I've been to all of them. I just really want to hear them. Oh, and Blood. I was there at Blood. Yay. <laughs> I just want to hear them play. It's different when you hear them live versus when it's on a CD. See, and it's a different energy. I just want to enjoy myself. I really can't wait to hear Daybreak. Daybreak was definitely one of my favorite songs. It's one of the newest ones, and a lot of people just didn't like it, but it was definitely one of my favorites. True. Uh, Kiss in the Dark. Resonance. Not really. They're all pretty good. I'm not really too picky. No real favorites. How'd you find out about tonight's show? Um, well, someone was saying that they were, uh, there was, on a comment on YouTube, there was a, uh, concert in the U.S., so I looked it up and just kind of, uh, found, fi pi or Philadelphia, yeah. <laughs> were, you, were you excited when you saw the Philadelphia? Yeah, I was so excited. I was like, I have to go to this. I have to go to this with me. Are you here with anybody tonight? Yeah, um, my dad took me, so my dad and, um, my friend Jackie, yeah. Awesome. Uh, you guys both, uh, exist race friends? Uh, uh, fans? She just wanted to go to a concert. She doesn't really care what music she listens to, what language, whatever. So She's just kind of like non-denominational. Yeah, yeah. So she's really excited to go to this. This is her first live concert ever. So Now, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a cozy, intimate show. Are you going to be, because uh, uh, there's like a lounge area back there, are you going to be sitting back just kind of chilling with the show, or are you going to be up front like rocking it? We're going to be up front because a friend of mine wants to be nice and close. Okay, are you going to mosh at all? I probably will. Like you said, cozy, intimate setting tonight. Uh, assuming you're gonna be right out front. Yeah, absolutely. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be wrecking some faces, or are you just gonna be like jumping up and down? Uh, uh, yeah, I just had a, an iced coffee from Starbucks, and I've got all this energy, so I'm gonna be just like all over the place. Wait. <laughs> you gonna be throwing elbows? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're you're gonna start the mosh? No, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no sweat off of your back to get here tonight, but. Um, I only see your girlfriend. Where's Where's your friends at? My friends don't listen to J-Rock. I'm disappointed. Yeah, so am I. Uh, is there any way you could trick them into being like, oh, no, it's it, it it's okay? <laughs> no. No, no. Is, is, it, is it a predisposition against J-Rock, or is it just like, eh, I'm not too interested? They just don't like the sound. Uh, my best friend listens to country, man. So. Oh, okay, okay. Of UFOs. He's afraid of UFOs. Afraid of UFOs. He believes that there's government conspiracies. They're going to come get him. He will not leave his block. Not even kidding you. He pretty much works from his house. He's a nice guy. Does he wear Does he wear a tinfoil hat? I wish. <laughs> Any comments you'd like to make to your, uh, to your friends back at home who didn't come tonight? I'm really sorry, Anna. I'm sorry that you have to do your project. I'm, I'm having a really fun time. I hope you know this goes out to you. I know you really wanted to come, yeah. That's a big, in your face! <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually filming this two days later because um, <laughs> you wanted to sleep and then yesterday we got busy. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> she promised me that 
I promise you, Roger, if you just let me sleep, we won't leave the house tomorrow until we film this review. And sure enough, the next day I know we're in prison. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. It was fun, though. Yeah, but you were being an asshole. Well, how was I being an asshole? How was I being an asshole? I was trying to make sure we got the job done. No, you were being an asshole. Whatever. Yeah, sorry, you said so. <laughs> anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, Exist Trace was in Fury about two days ago, and, uh... Fury. Fury. Um, I, uh, first of all, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised with the show. I thought that they were going to do the same thing that, like, Darren Gray and Gilgamesh do, and, um, like, Gilgamesh, when they came to, uh, Philadelphia last year, they didn't play anything. They came out before their self-titled album, which was a little disappointing, uh, Darren Gray does similar stuff. I thought Exist Trace was going to do the same thing, but no, they came out and they played Sacrifice, Baby, Judea, Liquid, and I, I went nuts. Guns I, are blazing. I, I, I was the happiest boy a boy could be. Uh, and he's been complaining about it ever since. <laughs> complaining <laughs> about being happy? Yes. <laughs> oh, my neck. Oh, oh my neck. That. Yeah, yeah. Um... First concert in a long time that I went to where my neck is actually kind of fucked up the day after, and that just means I had a good time. So, but yeah, I mean, they, uh, I was not expecting to go there and have a good time, uh, to be honest. I thought they were just going to play, uh, like, at best one song off of Vanguard and one song off of Annunciation, but it was a pretty even mix, and it was really, it was a really, really fun show. What, what, what did you guys think? Oh, I, I, I enjoyed myself thoroughly. I died rough. I, died rough. <laughs> I liked it. It was my first time seeing them live, so it was fun. It was. It's a lot of fun. It's my first time seeing them, too. Ah, firsties! They, Yay! They, um, they did this um, like kind of break in the middle uh, where they kind of left the stage for a little bit and put on quote-unquote new costumes, but really it was only the lead singer that changed costumes. They put masks on. It yeah, was um, It was hot. <laughs> So and, they, hot. and they did so this, this kind of cool, uh, like waltzy kind of thing, which I felt kind of harkened back to like, uh, like late '90s art VK, like Malice Miser and uh, Raphael and stuff like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I know uh, most of the crowd was getting into it, right? Oh, definitely. Everyone was. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, and then after that, they 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 swung straight into like this cabaret kind of performance. I'm not too sure how I felt about that. I know you guys dug it, right? I liked it. I enjoyed it, too. She was so sexy. <laughs> so sexy. Sexy cop. Sexy cop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she knew what she was doing. I'll say that. It wasn't like it was just some, some kind of half-baked number. I mean, like she she knew exactly what she was doing. So She, uh, she turned the sexy all the way to 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't know. It's like... I, this is this is a big thing for debate for me. And I don't want to get into it on uh, on camera here. Like maybe on the next uh, Fixer you stream hangout, I'll get into it. But um, it, I, it it was cool, but like it didn't sit well with me. And there's reasons for that. But um, like the the good thing about the Exist Trace show was it had a flow to it. And this is something that some bands don't get. They came out strong. And then, you know, pulled out a lot of their main guns. They played Sacrifice, baby. And then after that, they uh, played a newer song, which was kind of mid-tempo. And then they played a ballad, which um, I think that's a new song. Uh, because I wasn't really too familiar with that ballad. And then um, and then they had the break. And then they did the, the, the waltz and the cabaret. And then they played a couple of newer songs. And then they knocked out Punch with, uh, with their last couple of songs. And... That uh, it was good because like it gave you a chance to catch your breath, uh, because if you were if you were just rocking out too much the entire time, it, like my head would have probably flown backwards. <laughs> you kept hitting me with your hair. So did you. You uh. kept hitting me with your hair. <laughs> you're the one. You're the one. If so, if somebody gets hit by your hair, it actually is going to leave a welt. I know. I kept hitting myself in the eye. I was like, oh. <laughs> you kept hitting me in the eye for some reason. I don't know how you managed to do it because I was in front of you. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> But, um... It was, it was Omi's birthday. Yeah, it was Omi's yeah. birthday. So the whole crowd sang happy birthday to her. She got really her, shy. She, <laughs> she got really shy and embarrassed. She was like, oh, no, they're singing to me. It was <laughs> funny, though, because she was, like, you know, tuning her guitar for the encore and everything, and all of a sudden, you know, we started singing, and she's like, 
they're singing in unison, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then slow realization. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm going to back into the corner here. <laughs> yeah, um, it's really cute. <laughs> really, my biggest problem with with uh, the thing is, you know, once again, most people know that I'm kind of 50-50 on their recent music. Some of their um, newer songs sounded a lot better live. That ballad that they played sounded pretty good. Um, but there was still some of the other newer songs that just kind of fell flat for me, and even the live setting couldn't help that. But that aside, really my biggest problem with the show was the lack of turnout. Yeah, this is kind of Like, it, it was... It was really upsetting. Um, it would have been a lot more fun with a lot more people there. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know that they did somewhat okay. And, they, they were having fun still, it, so that, that was good. They, yeah, they, they obviously still had a good time. I oh, know that they did somewhat okay in um, in New York, but they tanked in Boston, I, from what I understand, from what people are telling me. And I can understand that to an extent because tickets were $45 only and it was 18 plus only on a Thursday, so the situation around that might not have been optimal. But Philadelphia, you know... Sad. <laughs> so I mean, upsetting. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to rub this in anybody's face or anything, but when I did uh, a, 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 an event with Season, I brought out double people... Than Exist Race. I, I, I think Exist Race is more popular than Season, technically. So this is a little upsetting that, you know, it may have been a Tuesday evening, but still, I've seen, Durham Gray played uh, Philadelphia on a weekday and 500 people showed up to it. So I really don't see the uh, the excuse here. And Durham Gray was more expensive. Well, you know what I kept hearing, especially from the people that live in the area, they're like, oh, I'll just see him at Teco. I, um, I saw some... Uh, like, on Facebook, I saw some stuff about that from people at the western portion of the state. Not so much on this side. Like, I, there was a lot of people that said they were going and then just didn't. And then there was a lot of people who are J-Rock fans who just weren't inclined to go for what, for some reason whatsoever. And that's alarming. That's really, really alarming because if you had that mindset that, oh, a J-Rock band's coming, but I'm just not going to go... You're killing us. It, it hurts. Uh, this wasn't even my show. I, you know, I helped promote it a little bit, but um, this wasn't a show I organized. This wasn't a show that I had any stake in. But as soon as I walked into that venue and, and, and saw how empty it was, I got depressed. I was, I was pretty upset. And like this is this is a very very talented band, a very good band. Despite what I may think about their recent music, they they put on a good fucking show, and they deserved a lot better than that. Like literally, I ballparked it at about eighty people in that room, eighty people at best, and that's that's not good. And like, I'm not saying shame on you to people out there who didn't make it, because um, I'm sure some of you have legitimate reasons. But there's some people I know for a fact who just didn't show up because he didn't feel like showing up. And it's a J-Rock show. Guys, come on. I mean, your attendance at these shows is what drives the scene. And when bands see stuff like this, you know, turnouts like this, they're not going to come back. They're going to be like, wow, we just lost a lot of money coming to America. And they're not and they're not going to show up. Yeah, um, like, they'll see the impact from other bands and be like, you know, bands that have never even been over here yet, that... You know, you want badly. They'll see Exist Trace did terribly because no one showed up. Because, oh, we'll catch them on the next ring. No, there is no next ring. You come now to see them later. And one thing I will say for people that are, you know, because by the time we put this out, you know, people, tech, Techo's going on right now. This is the first day of Techo. Um, even if, you know, you're like, oh, I'll see him at Techo. If you had the opportunity to see him at a real show, here's the thing. As a promoter... There's more at stake when you do a club event versus a con. Yeah. So I'm not telling you guys that you have to choose. I'm saying if there's any way possible that you can make it to both. Making it to the club show is infinitely more important to the band than going to the con. And I can say that doing both you know, shows and cons, that it means a lot more in the grand scheme of things if you actually show up to a concert at a club. Versus at the con. Now, not trying to belittle, you know, actually going to the show at a con. Because, goddamn, you know, um, the blood show that we did in Anime USA was one of the best concerts that we've done in years. Probably best concert since Versailles at Acon, to be honest. That was that was an amazing show, and we had a huge turnout for that. About 500 people for that as well. 
And it, w it was a real good turnout, real good crowd reaction. So I'm not trying to belittle con shows at all. They're important. But financially, there's much more at risk when you're trying to book, you know, clubs. You're putting a lot more forward. You're putting a lot more risk forward. And when only 80 people show up, Tuesday night or not, it hurts. And it really, really hurts the scene, guys. So, um, I mean, it, it, next time around, if, you know, because... Like Eve said, you know, when, when other bands consider coming to America, they assess the risks based on what other bands did in America. So they they find the bands that do what they do and see if they've been to America and see what the outcome was. And if it's not good, they don't even bother. Yeah. So uh, if a, if a band comes to your local town again, don't be like, oh, well, I don't feel like it. Not this time. Don't do that. They need your support. They desperately need your support. They need you to go out there, tell people to show up, show up yourself, buy their merchandise. And even if you're, you know, I understand that, you know, a lot of people are broke nowadays. Just do what you can to try to get to the show at least. You know, you don't have, you know, if you can't buy merchandise, cool, but at least show up and enjoy the show. Because, you know, that's what really matters. If it's a, if it's a $20 ticket and you have 20 friends, ask them each for a dollar. There's your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> do an Indiegogo campaign to get yourself to the next J-Rock show. <laughs> Why not? Everybody else is doing it. I know. <laughs> it's like, you know, the nerd in, uh, what's his name, Tim Schafer had success with uh, Indiegogo and Kickstarter, and now everybody's doing it. We fucking did it. You're fucking doing it. Fucking doing um, it. Fucking. <laughs> everybody's doing it. And see, well, it, that's besides the point. The point is, um, Exist, do it. Exist Trace was... A really, really good show, and I was actually very pleasantly surprised with it. Um, but the the lack of turnout was really heartbreaking, guys. Really, really, really heartbreaking. And um, the scene's not going to be able to f thrive with interaction like that. It, you know, it, it really breaks my heart. Even if it's a show that's not mine, to see people online on Facebook saying, eh, I don't think I'm going to go. Yeah. And, and, and no reason, no nothing. I don't feel like going. Oh. Yeah, that that kills the scene. That's gonna that's gonna attitudes like that are just literally gonna be the scene's undoing. So, uh, and, and this isn't like it's a no talent band. It's Exist Trace, and they're awesome. And it's not just the fact that they're five chicks playing BK metal. It's they're actually talented, and they actually write good songs. <laughs> they're people, and they're really freaking talented. So you should come see them. So. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is going on long enough, but yeah, uh, bottom line, Exist Race, awesome show, but next time J-Rock comes to your town, fucking go to the concert, please. You'll you'll miss out if you don't go. Yeah. Just just like this time, you missed out, guys. Yeah, it was a good show. Awesome. <laughs> it was.